Hello and welcome to another Area Specialist Plus One. Today's video is all about auctioneering, where I break down the whole auction system and it's probably the most information rich video I have ever done on auctioneering. Firstly, there is a live recording of me doing a street auction where I show you everything I did right and everything I did wrong. And after that, there's a bonus session where I break down the numbers and I show you how to add some flavors to the numbers and work with the digits. Moving on from there is what I call the auction flow chart, where every single scenario that can possibly happen in an auction is covered. So you will know when A happens, you respond with B. When C happens, you respond with D. So you will be fully equipped to do a very good auction by the end of this video with some training, of course. Enjoy. Now I want you to think about the Dandenong market as an elevator. We're in the elevator right now, and the elevator is only going up. Today's your chance to press that button, get off that elevator, and lock in a price in this rising market before this market pushes you out to further suburbs that you might not desire as much as this. Give it your very, very best. I Oh, good work, sir. At $350,000, and I welcome you to the auction now at 350000 At $350,000, where do we go from here? I would have thought a nice, neat, clean, what, $20,000 rise, but at $350,000. I chased three hundred and seventy dollars to see you in postcode 3175, but at $350,000, gentlemen's play for the keys. First time then, at $350,000, do I have an... 370 and I welcome you in, sir, and I wish you all the very, very best as well. Against my courageous starter and 80 new players, one, two, three, people interested, giving your confidence and now back with a starter at 390,000. At 390,000 dollars, 400 would be rational, just give me the nod, at 390 the bid. At 390,000 dollars, bid's right here. 410. I won't underestimate you again, madam. At $410,000, now bids here. New players, don't let it get it with one shot. At 410, welcome you to the auction against my starter. Also against you. At 20, new players again. Five people now interested. Giving your confidence, highly fought, highly sought at $420,000. One and all want to buy. Haven't forgotten about you guys. Now's your time. At $420,000. 430 now. At $430,000. Doesn't surprise me. Worth that all day, every day. At $430,000. Now's your time to get off that elevator. Locking a price in this rising market. At $400,000. 450 it is then at four and a half only and I say just. Subsequently bid at $450,000. Highly fought now at 450 at $450,000. Is it going? Uh, once then now at $450,000. Twice at $450,000 and going. Third and 455. 457. 457, surely not going to miss it for $2,000. I would have thought 460 would be rational. $3,000 to see you in, back against my starter. At $457,000 only now, at 457. Amongst it all, with it all, 460 it is. At $460,000, stay in strong, but so are you, madam. At $460,000, I haven't forgotten about you earlier, sir, or here either. Anyone else hanging back, now's your time. At $460,000, 465 and you'll enjoy this home 365 days of the year but at 465 is the comeback in good health now at $465,000 it's the front one no active owners corporation it's like a house on low maintenance at $465,000 do I knock it down walking distance to absolutely everything now's your time at $465,000 is it going no late bids no late offers once then now $465,000 Twice at 465, third and final call in three, two. Do you need to know now quickly, sir? So what do you want to do? Now's your time. 465. $465,000. Bids right here. D, do I have instructions? 466. 466. Good work, sir. Where were you before, though? $466,000. And I welcome you in now at 466. 468, doesn't want to let you get it with one bid, sir. You don't look like a sniper. At 468, 469. At 469 then, at 469. Madam, you've run the marathon, you've run all this way. 472, can't pick the figures. At $472,000, maybe 500 would be a clever play for the key, sir. At $472,000, at $472,000, I would have thought 500, pop an easy, gentle, $28,000 in the rise. But at 472, the money. 
at $472,000. Haven't forgotten about here. Is anyone else ha hanging back, Can waiting to 500? bid? 472, 500? 472, 500. 472500 now. Tug of war. Who lets go of the rope at $472,500 for 473500 473500 Took them a little while to get there, sir. It could be their last bid. At $473,500. D, do we sell the property? Just one second. Are we on the market though, D? Yes. On the market and selling then at $473,500. Won't be referring to the clients. No late bids, no late offers. At $473,500, I sell the home. It goes. No late bids, no late offers. $473,500. It is going uh, once at $473,500. Twice at $473,500. D quickly. Third and final call in three, two. Sir, need to know now quickly, 474. 473, 500. 473, 500. 474. Let's go 480 and show strength, madam. Oh, he's just going to come back. He'll just come back. Go 470, 480, 480. Four seventy-five then. Four seventy-five, sir. I just asked them to go four eighty and they didn't. You look like a clever man. I think you can read into that body language. At four seventy-five now. Four seventy-five. At four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars bids right here. Possibly four seventy-five. Four and three quarters the money. Your chance to lock in a price in this rising market, low turnover, it's the front one, no active owners corporation, it's a young resident moving into absolutely nothing, we are on the market, we sell the home, no late bids. Sir, you started the auction, are you still in? I appreciate your work, thank you so much. How about you, sir? Thank you so much, really appreciate your efforts, gentlemen. No, thank you so much. At $475,000, sir, are we in? All right, beautiful work. Anyone else hanging back, waiting to bid? No late bids, no late offers. $475,000. I sell it right now and it goes once, twice, third and final call in three, two, one. Uh, sold. Well bought. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Congratulations to the new owner, to the underbidders. You've done a fantastic job. We'll find, try and find you something. On behalf of your area specialist, please drive safely and thank you. Oh, thank shot. you very much. <laughs> I, um, you very much. Our underbidders get movie tickets, so there you are. He Thanks, looks like man. a good date as well, all right? Yeah, thank you. Give a good shot. Thank you. Thanks, Give a good shot. Thank you. Give a good shot. Thank you. Okay, a breakdown of the auction numbers. Here we go. So, firstly, we have A plus B equals C. So, an A number is the bid that you're at. Okay, the B number is the bid that you're looking for and the C is the total sum of A plus B. So for example, at, five, at $500,000, looking for $10,000 to make 510,000. At $510,000, looking for another $10,000 to make 520,000. So these are the numbers that you can play with. A lot of auctioneers only play with the at. So at $500,000, at $500,000 now, at $500,000 here in the heart of Bobville, at $500,000 here. Gentlemen's bid now at $500,000. So that's the only number that you hear a lot of auctioneers do. To add to that, then you go at $500,000 looking for, and the reason why you do the looking for is because you are a director, you're directing the crowd, you're a conductor, you're showing them the, you, you are showing them the way to go. So you need to guide them, and so you need to show them what you're looking for. And then the, the tally, of course. Here's a breakdown of the numbers. So. This is just an example. There's many ways that you can say uh, $550,000, uh, uh, but this is just to give you an example for you to you know, get your pen and your pad out and start making up your own ways to, to be creative and so that it's not, a, it's not white noise, I suppose, to the audience ear. They're hearing something uh, that's continuously changing that keeps them excited. So at $550,000, it can also be said as $550,000, Five and a half, fifty, which is just the end. Five hundred and fifty thousand dollars could be five hundred fifty thousand dollars even. Five five zero, oh. okay. Double five zero, oh. five five zero. Oh. So there's many ways that you can break up the numbers. So I'll show you how this all works. So 
at $550,000, looking for another 10 to make 550, uh, so to make $560,000. Is there $560,000 anywhere? I look for 560, but at 550 the money. At five and a half is the bid now. I look for another $10,000 rise to make 560,000. Who rounds me at $560,000? I chase the me 60 on top of the five. Is there 560 anywhere? So that's how you can really add some flavor to the numbers. Okay, let's move on to probably one of my uh, most uh, favorite things to talk about auctioneering and uh, when, I, when I train auctioneers is the auctioneer flow chart. Okay, so here you can see the A plus B equals C. But that is just one core element of the auction flow chart. This is the whole auction flow chart and I'll walk you through it. It's when something happens, this is the best response. So you're at $500,000 looking for 10 to make 510,000. And you just keep going and going and going. And then to, um, to your job is you're in sales. You're there to get the best price for the person selling the house, the people selling the house. So you need to give reasons to the buyers, the potential bidders, why they should bid at the auction. So here's some potential fillers. You've got, you can talk about the area. You can talk about the house, so about the area it could be the school, shops, parkland, public transports, how nice it is, how pretty it is, there's a lake, freeways, shopping centre, etc. House, uh, something specific about the house, uh, a nice loggia area, uh, pavilion area, the, the kitchen, stone bench tops, um, the heating, surround sound, etc. The rates, the interest rates, they're at historical lows, so that's a great advantage. You can talk about that. A specific sale in the area. So while you're doing the auction at 500, $510,000 is what I seek, but at 500, the money. Friends, let me remind you but that last week, number three, Fake Street, sold for 550,000. So at 510 is what I'm searching for, in my opinion, representing really good buying. So you, you pull out a specific sale. Then you can talk about the markets. The market's lifted in the, uh, on average in the, in the last 12 months, 10%. The market's lifted 10% in the last 12 months. So now's the time to lock in a price in this rising market. So there's some fillers. You can, there's a specific sale. You can talk about the average sale price in the area as well. So that, that could be there. Uh, so general sale price or specific sale price. So you wanna put these fillers in, in the bidding, okay? And you go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forward until there is no bidding. Once there's no bidding, then you follow this sequence. So look, I'll start off at 500,000. So at $500,000, looking for $10,000 to make 510,000. Now's the time to buy in this beautiful area, this gorgeous house that's been fully renovated and in a marketplace uh, right now where the interest rates are at historical lows. Now's your time to buy. Is there $510,000 anywhere? I look for 10 on top of the five. At five is the money. Call it half a million. I chase $10,000 in the rise to make 510. There's no bids. Okay, so I go through it. There's no bids. I go to the underbidder and I say, so the bid's now against you, now's your time. The underbidder's not, not interested. So I go to the under underbidder, that's the second last underbidder. So how about you or madam, are you still interested? No, you go to all the underbidders and then you go to the crowd, okay? Once you've done all of that, then it's your, then you, you, you are to do what's called trial closing. Trial closing is first call now at $500,000. Second call at half a million dollars, Five double O the money for your chance to get into this lovely postcode, 24 carat for the third and final call. You then get bids, okay? If you get bids, you can just keep moving around and around and around. I'll put this in here actually, sorry. Scratch that. So if you get bids after you trial close, which is a lot of time you get a, you get a, a bid right on the third call. Once, twice, third, final call, it's going, going, going. And then someone will bid. So you, you go there and then you start the whole process again. But if there is no bidding, when you trial close, you move to the no bid section, okay? When you get no bids, then you talk about the highest bidder rule. The highest bidder rule is, um, well, in Victoria anyway, let me remind you that the highest bidder has exclusive right to the buy the home. So if you're interested in buying, you need to bid, you need to bid right now. Otherwise, we pass the property into the highest bidder. They have first right at the home uh, and at the exclusion of everyone else. So you go to that. 
or you can reduce the increment that you're searching for. So you might be at $500,000 and you start going, looking for $5,000 or you might look, look for $1,000. So at $500,000, you've got no bids, your trial closed. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, if it makes it any easier, I'll take 501,000, is there $1,000 anywhere? You might vendor bid. You might be a fair bit away from reserve price or market value. So you vendor bid. So you, I've got here 10%. Um, the reason why is I believe that you shouldn't vendor bid um, any closer than 10% of market value. Not the reserve price, because sometimes the reserve price can be higher or lower than market value, uh, but no closer than 10% to market value. So if market value, for example, 600,000, take away 60,000, I wouldn't vendor bid personally. Uh, higher than 540,000, okay? Uh, I also like to vendor bid at the increment, increment that I'm searching for. So if you're looking for $10,000, you should only vendor bid at $10,000. You shouldn't vendor bid higher, it doesn't make sense. Uh, and you shouldn't vendor bid lower, you should give someone the opportunity to bid lower. So that's where you reduce the price, okay? So vendor bid, or you can refer to the owner and see if they're happy to take the figure that is currently placed on the market, uh, which is currently the market is offering, which in this instance, in this scenario, is 500,000. So once again, get bidders, you do the fills, there's no bids, you, can't, you, you go to the underbidder, the under underbidder, the crowd, okay, they're not bidding, so you trial close, and you might get bids, but hypothetically, you don't get bids, so you either talk about the highest bidding rule, you reduce the increment, you vendor bid, or you refer to the owner, okay? Now, once you've done all of that, okay, and there's still no bids, then you either pass the property in because you can't go anywhere and you sign off and say, thank you very much for attending another area specialist auction, or you sell the property because at this point you might've put the property on the market already, or you put the property on the market. So from here, your trial close, you've got no bids, you put the property on the market, then once you put the property on the market, you come all the way up, up here and you start going through this process all over again. The property's now in the market, no bids, trial close. Okay, you've got some more bids, fillers. You keep them going around and going around, the property's on the market, we're at $550,000 and it keeps going and going and going, and then there's no more bids, the, the marketplace is exhausted, so there's no bids, we've already put it on the market, I, I don't need to pass it in because it's on the market, so now I go down to sell it and I sign off. I don't know where the good is in goodbye, However, drive safely. Take care. Thank you for listening. Okay, so I'll go through one where I, I go through a bit of numbers, okay? At $500,000, I look for another $10,000 any, uh, anywhere in the crowd. Is there $510,000? Your chance to buy into Postco 3173. This gorgeous renovated home, like to see you in it at $510,000. Who makes five ten? I look for $10,000 on half a million dollars. Sir, are you interested? How about you, madam? Are you interested? Well, is there anyone else hanging back, waiting to bid? Now's your time, now's your chance. I chase 510,000. First, second, third. Good work, madam. Thank you for the 510. At $510,000, perhaps make it 520, sir. That would be a good strategy. Is there 520? Yes, good work, sir. Now at 520, at 520, perhaps the 10s aren't working. 550 from here would be a lot more effective. Who goes another 30 in the rise? I chase 30 quickly now for five and a half. At $520,000, I look for 30. Who makes 550? Your chance to lock in a price in this rising market. Uh, there's historical low interest rates. Last week, Fort Choppard Avenue sold. It sold for $600,000. Now's your time to buy. Sir, are you interested? Madam, are you interested? Anyone else hanging back that hasn't bid? First, second, third, final call. We're at $520,000. Third and final call, no bids. Well, let me remind you that should we get no more bids, in this instance, let's say the reserve price is 600,000, or 550. Should we get no more bids? We're at $520,000, we will exclusively negotiate with the highest bidder. So if you're interested in buying, you need to bid and you need to bid right now. Good work, sir. You're in at 550,000, we're at 550, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's just say now we're up to um, $600,000. And then we'll say we're at 590,000. We're at $590,000, now's your time to buy first, second, third, and Final call, well, I'll tell you what, if it makes it any easier, there's no bids, I'll take a $1,000 rise. Is there 591, good work at 591. 591, two, three, four, five, six, good work now at $600,000, at $600,000 the bid, and it stops, okay? There's no bid in. At this instance, you might wanna to refer to the owner and see if they're happy with that. Refer to the owner. 
They go, yep, okay, I'll take 600,000. So you go back out to the marketplace and you say, okay, I'll put the property on the market. I'm selling the property at $600,000. We are on the market. We sell the home. If you're interested in buying, you need to bid. You need to bid right now. No late bids, no late offers. If you're wanting to buy, now's your time. We're at $600,000. Look for 605,000. Is there 605 anywhere in the crowd? Uh, look for 605 quickly. Your chance to buy into Fakeville on number three, Fake Street. So you're in, madam. No late bids, no late offers, anyone else hanging back. Once, twice, third, final call. It is going, going, going. I sell it in three, two, one, sold. So there you go, that's the auction flow chart. So obviously it, it's, it, it will take you a little while to digest this. Play with the A plus B equals C, play around with the numbers. And hopefully this enables you to be really equipped for your auctions. Thank you so much for listening. Cheers. Hi, I'm Michael Choi, the founder of Area Specialist, a company that focuses on recruiting, training and retaining the best talent in real estate. We provide a very high pay structure. We help you build your own rent roll and we brand to you, not the company. All this while providing 360 degrees of support. So if you're interested in joining one of our offices or would like to open up your own office, please make contact.